Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, fuck it, I'm going in. Hold up, hold up for a minute. I said, hold up, hold up for a minute. I said, hold up, hold up for a minute. We can roll blunts on the shitter. What's up, guys? So this is part three of troubleshooting having the fuel pump not priming on your CBR 600 RR and as promised this is testing the bank angle sensor as if just like we stated in uh, part two on the right hand side you're gonna see a solid black wire on the back and a smaller red wire with a white stripe in front of it like I said the red and white wire is negative and the solid black that is behind it is positive so if we didn't have power to this, then we would go directly to the bank angle sensor and test that. So we are going to take off the front cowl. By now you already got your side fairings off and your tank fairing off. So we're going to take the front cowl. Kind of a pain in the ass, but it's not a huge deal. We just got to remove the mirrors, which there are two screws holding each mirror on. And because we already got the side fairings and the tank fairing off, just gotta move, remove this screw, this screw, that one, this one. But there are also two screws right down here holding it onto the actual radiator. So you just want to take those out. It's actually kind of a pain in the ass to, to see, but so basically six screws in total so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those now there are two air intakes now when you pull this off <coughs> just pulls off like that and you can see that these just pulled right out they just push in and out not a big deal and I don't know if you guys can see that in there. Right there is your bank angle sensor. Get you guys a better look. So this is the front cowl. I just have it resting on the front, no big deal. I don't give a shit. And you wanna leave these connected in. If you wanted to completely remove it, you just have to unplug these clips, move it wherever you want, upstairs, your bedroom, anywhere you want. But right here is the bank angle sensor. See that literally center screen with the green, white, and red and yellow wire right there. That like half circle square box. That is your bank angle sensor. We're going to test the shit out of that. So like I said... Right in between the two headlights there, the bank angle sensor, there's two screws, one there and one directly on the other side. Remove those. Make sure your engine stop switch is in the run position, your ignition is off, you got all your three relays back in from when you tested them like we did in the last video. Your fuses are in, your battery's charged up. You're ready to fucking go. So with all that said, we're gonna just unscrew, leave it plugged in, but just unscrew the bank angle sensor. All right, with the ignition off. All right, so when you got everything in the run position, what you're gonna do is with the bank angle sensor still plugged in and your ignition off you're gonna hold it so the arrow is pointing straight up so we got the arrow pointing straight up so I'm gonna turn the ignition on and with this test this is a very basic test I know my engine relays work we tested all that shit in parts one and two so I got the bank angle sensor up when I turn the ignition on a-okay now this test what it consists of is if I turn this to simulate a tip over so where the arrow is pointing more towards the ground my engine stop relay should make another click and that's basically turning it off and my bike if it was running would just stop right then and there
That's the easy way to test this. So the actual proper way to test this, we did it the easy way and we know it works. We heard the relay click when we had it straight up and we turned the ignition on and then we tipped it over and we heard it click. So the proper way is to actually have it screwed back in like it is actually supposed to be when it's installed and test right at the connection of the harness. Now the white and black wire is positive, the green is negative. You wanna test that with your multimeter and the volt should read the same as your battery. You know, 11 and a half, 12 and a half, 12.9, whatever you, the voltage your battery reads, that should read that, you know, or, or extremely close to it. Then, test the red wire and the black, or the red wire and the white, sorry, with the white stripe. That's positive. And then again, the green wire is negative. There's only three wires here. Test those and it should read zero volts. That's when it's installed and the arrow pointing straight up. So when you reinstall this, make sure that you install it properly. Make sure that flat piece is pointing, is on the top side and the half circle is on the bottom. And you'll know because on the front side of it, there's an arrow and it'll be pointing up. So make sure you install that right when you put it back in. So hopefully I was able to help you. That's how you test a bank angle sensor. Putting it on, or the uh, nose back on, is everything in reverse. Uh, it's, it's really, it's more of a pain in the ass because you're trying to line it up and get the actual air ducts lined up and pushed in. It's, it's more of a pain in the ass. It's re they're really simple. It's an easy test. There's only three wires. Like I said, test the white wire, the black stripe, and the green. That should be reading battery voltage. If you test the red wire with the white stripe, that's positive, and the green wire is negative, it should read zero volts. The arrow should be pointing up. It's a really simple test. Just you know, if you know your relays work from the last test we did, you can just turn it, and it goes click click. Easy, easy peasy. Um, a lot of people install it upside down and stuff, so that could be one of your issues. The previous owner, you know, installed it upside down, who knows, maybe a wire came loose, whatever. Just take a look at it, but hopefully we figured out your problem. Uh, that is basically all, the, all she wrote for the troubleshooting. I know what my problem is, now I just have to, my next videos I do, I'm just going to be basically tracing those wires along, testing them, finding out where the break is. Hopefully I can find the brake and fix it if it's at a connection point. But, so that's it. I found my problem. I really hope you found yours. So, peace. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe.